All right, guys, here's a 1957 red T-Bird. Now, this one wasn't here before, and I always saw these in photos or whatnot as a kid. And good thing I came in today, this thing was sitting here. I said, all right, we're going to do a video on it. And look at that chrome, that chrome grill off that chrome bumper right there. These were always iconic cars, you know, going back in the day for when a T-Bird was around. Now, I don't know what size motor is in this thing. I'm thinking it might be a 390. It could be something a little smaller, you know, but the information board didn't say. And this thing is sitting on them old Ford T-Bird uh, hubcaps. You know, you don't see them as much as you used to. You know, hubcaps aren't the thing anymore, so to see hubcaps that are matching to a car is something special, you know, especially today. And you got these slighted fishtail uh, rear uh, fenders on here with uh, going into the tail light. So these things were always slanted. You always saw this in pics on, um, or posters, either one. And uh, these things were just beautiful cars, man, from 1957 stands. These things were kind of ahead of their time, you know, for a sports car, you know. So, because the Mustang didn't come along till what, 65? So these things were the ideal cars to buy at the time. And as you look, I think, if I'm not mistaken, on both ends, you know, both sides are the uh, exhaust, you know, so the exhaust was probably coming out through there off the in, in between the bumper or at least the tail of the bumper on each side underneath each light you know that made it stand out because you don't see that anymore either you always have your exhaust to, to themselves you know or to itself and you never really have to worry about any condensation rusting out the rear bumper and that big square door there is for your uh, gas and uh let's see as we look around on this driver passenger side this thing is pretty well lined up, you know. Evidently, oops, the, the antenna is gone, but it's probably in the trunk. Needs to be reinstalled for whatever reason that is off. And as you look at the hood itself, you have that open air intake, straight ram air into the carburetor. So yeah, the 57 style, if all three uh, American automakers, they all shared something along the line. But as you see the front end, see these little, the little overextension over the headlights, you know. This T-Bird has it, the 57 Chevy had it. I think the, the other four models had it, you know, Pontiac and uh, Chrysler and Dodge, you know, they all shared something to comp as far as competition towards one another, you know. This red here is beautiful on this car. But one thing I found, and I kind of figured back in the day when I was looking at these cars, there was something much more special to them. Well, I just found out. As you look, you find these removable top uh, locks. So this whole top here removes. It comes off like a convertible. So if you didn't want that top on there, you wanted to ride around on a sunny day with the top off, you could, and you just cruise. You just cruise the car. You didn't have to go fast. You just cruise this car, and then you enjoyed it in traffic or whatnot, or out on the open road, you know? These things were beautiful, man. Let's look at the driver's side. Okay, guys, looking at this thing from the driver's side, I mean, you can't really beat it. This is very, very clean. You know, as you're looking at it, let's take a little closer look, and you see the uh, cockpit, the driver's side. This thing is nice, 120 on the dash. You know, you got your RPM over there. No, that's a clock, my bad. <laughs> had your clock right there. I mean, you had everything, your little radio, that's the aftermarket radio, but as you look down, you have your um, air conditioning system, or if it had air conditioning or not, well, that's where it would be, the switches. And it's automatic. And the steering column itself is really nice. As you can see, the red steering column, the horn, the Thunderbird hub in the middle. I mean, this thing was beautiful, man. You can't beat this one. You know, so if you like this car, 
we're gonna take a look at the information board before I say that. Come on, let's look at it. Okay, guys, here we are, information board. It's a 1961 Ford T Bird, 390 V8. You see the price over here on the side, they want 28,000 for it. And uh, it's all red, two door. You know, if you think it's a wonderful find and buy, give them a call here at Gateway Classic Cars. All right?